When you use your child as a weapon, their life becomes a bullet, knowing only the black powder you pack behind them that will crawl into the barrel unquestioningly. Their path redirected toward your fellow gunsmith. Your trigger finger will fiddle vengeful ideas, chuckling with power. You'll forget that the scope cannot avert its own sight. Learning only what it sees, it will remember everywhere it has been pointed. When your child becomes the weapon you raise them to be, you'll tell yourself that not all weapons misfire, not this one, not mine, but there will, in every gun's life, come an innocent bystander, chalk outlining something dying, lost, stepped over, a childhood, forgotten. When the weapon you raise begins acting out like an adolescent, you'll convince yourself that gun making is just a job. You're just doing your job, your gun. It may even tell you you're doing a great job when you pause. Realizing for the first time, you just called your child it in conversation. You'll know that it was right. You, my bloody-handed gunsmith, did a good and thorough job. When the weapon you raise childishly learns of its own power, the barrel's tip finally finding its handler's tender toe, you will feel the piercing sting of your own loaded words pointed back at you, smell the smoke waft from your shrapnel laced lips, know that this is what you look like those days you purposefully avoid mirrors. When the it you raised finally accepts its weaponization, It'll learn to point and shoot at other its with less stammering. This is why its make such good soldiers. Being good soldiers is what make gunsmiths out of our grandparents. Our grandparents came back from wars, broken weapons, misfiring on our makers. We were raised by bystanders, turned sidearms, and used in their wars against fucking everything. Our generation was raised to be a good little grenade crop. Now they have the nerve to ask us, why all the explosions? When the little mirror you made is finally so broken, you can no longer see yourself in it. And you will know it is your truest reflection. It is those things we love the deepest. We will always hurt the most. This is what we broken humans were built to do. To all the other barrel tips with hot lead on their lips, stop. Refashion yourself. You're more than a hardening exterior wrapped around a death threat. You're a diamond hidden in a detonator. Your name is not it just because it was forgotten. Before the spasm crack of birthing whiplash your knowing away, you had velocity of your own. Life is inertia. Quit blaming yourself for existing. Quit blaming the light for shadows. A gun set deep enough in the earth might as well be a rock. Dig deep, child. When we raise our children to be weapons, we are tenderly tucking them aimed upward beneath our own chin, tanning our grip round our own future, and getting what we work so hard for.